And number five, exercise. And exercise is biblical. Stop quoting using Apostle Paul's letters, a human being. And people get mad when I critique or criticize the Apostle Paul in there. Why? He's a man like me. Yeah, but he received a word from the Lord. I received a word from the Lord. Yeah, but the Apostle Paul wrote books. I wrote books too. I have four books and plan to write 40. He's just a man. He was a human being. And the Catholic Church put more of his writings in the Bible than they did the other apostles. Who gave them the authority to do that? Did God tell the Catholic Church to put more of Paul's letters in the New Testament than Peter and John and James? No, they no, he didn't. Why did they do that? Because James, Peter, and John told, told was trying to educate Paul about the Nazarene way and that the perfected way of eating is to stop murdering animals and Paul didn't want to listen. And the Catholic, the flesh-eating, loving, pedophilic Catholic church, that's one of the reasons why you have more Paul's letters in the Bible than you do the apostles who walk with Christ. So don't sit there and tell me that I don't have a right to critique a human being. Oh, but he he was blinded by light and saw Jesus and Jesus called and Jesus called me too. In 2015, I was a police officer and Jesus called me to do what I'm doing now. He did. Exercise. And my point is that there's a scripture where Paul says exercise profit little. And so we have Christians and believers that don't want to exercise, that don't want to weight train, that don't want to work out. And they use that one little scripture where Paul is comparing the physical to the eternal. But Paul is not a health coach. Paul they had no understanding about healing. I guarantee you if Paul was living today and I started talking to him, I guarantee you that maybe he would have changed his position. But when they was presenting what they was presenting to him, they didn't have the detailed information we have about such as the effects that animal flesh has on the body. So to take that scripture, I know a 400 pound Pentecostal bishop, 400 pounds. And this man told me that he gained 400 pounds when he became a Christian. He said when he wasn't a Christian, he was a marathon runner. He was 140 pounds running marathons, but then he got saved. And then the church leaders told him exercising is a sin because it profits little. And now he's 400 pounds. And according to this stupid slave theology, when he dies from his obesity, he'll just float off to heaven. And then I guess God will give him his 145 pound body back. That's the stupid slave theology that's been taught in the church. Uh, we are kicking off the new calendar year here uh, with uh, traditionally our blowout sale that we that we have store wide. So at this time, brothers and sisters, uh, at this time until supplies run out, which I don't know when that is. So I don't have a specific end date uh, for this. It might be three days. It might be five days. I don't know. I don't know. But for now. You can go to the minister of wellness.com, the minister of wellness.com, and you can get the supplements you need to assist you on your fruit fast uh, for 50% off. Exercise is excellent. Exercise is biblical. To not exercise is being lazy. Take that energy. Whenever you're feeling that addiction overwhelming you, then you utilize that, you utilize that energy and go for, and do some push-ups, go for a run, go for a walk. But being lazy is not going to help you. You have to be vigilant in overcoming your addiction. Let's read the word of God on it. Don't matter what I say, what does the word say? The word says in Proverbs 13, 4, the soul of the sluggard, the lazy, desireth, meaning a lazy person wants something. You want a fit body. You want flat stomach. You want a small waist. You want to be healthy. You have a desire, but you have nothing. 
because you won't put the work in. But the soul of the diligent, I don't want to exercise, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm going to keep doing it because my purpose overpowers my laziness. And the soul of the diligent shall be made fat or rich. That word fat should be better translated rich. This is the King James Version, and they use these archaic terms. That's rich. So exercise. And even science proves the power of exercise to overcome addictions. And then also, brothers and sisters, of course, if your brain is filled with parasites uh, uh, while you're practicing these biblical principles, going to the ministerofwellness.com and getting the Zuma Nutrition Parasite Cleanse will greatly help you with killing those parasites in your brain as you practice these biblical principles. So make sure you go to the ministerofwellness.com and get the parasite detox package to cleanse your body. And also the Minister of Wellness Complete Detox Package so that the supplements, the herbs, the medicine foods of God are helping your body to heal and cleanse parasites while you're practicing these biblical principles. Uh, we have herbal extracts uh, for all sorts of ailments. Uh, so uh, one of our most popular is the fat loss, the immune. Uh, we have vitamins, organic high potent vitamins and minerals, such as the Minister of Wellness Vitamin D3, which you wanna take with K2. Those are the most important. Vitamin D3, vitamin K2, uh, vitamin B12, those are the big three, and then zinc. And we have those available. Of course, we have the books, including my two new books uh, that we have, which are all which are both now available in ebook form. Then we have the seaweeds, the powerful seaweeds, including the Minister of Wellness Sea Moss, the Bowel Movement Assist for Constipation, the Super Fowl Powder. We have about 100 different products on the online store. Uh, everything is being shipped out quickly. So this is the perfect opportunity, brothers and sisters. Again, uh, this is a day-by-day -day blowout sale. There will be no monthly sales for this year, meaning I'm not doing like I did last year where every month there's a did. No, we're not doing that. So this is it until... Uh, lay, I, of course, I always do the birthday uh, sale, and that's later this year because, you know, my birthday is at the very end of the calendar year. So this is your opportunity to go ahead and to stock up on what you need.